You guys know that feeling where you just wake up in a good mood, the sun is shining, you had a great breakfast, and you just know that everything for that entire day is going to be wonderful? Well, I certainly don't know that feeling, and I know from past experience that probably 10,000 little things are going to go wrong in this Be Office run. I'm sure I will not be wrong. So here's a secret technique I learned this summer working my first internship. Instead of doing the work yourself, you want to stand really far back and make someone else try it instead, so that way when they fuck up, you can blame them. Bonus points if you get him to use one of their level 7s or SOS cards. However, you are going to want to solve a couple of these puzzles by yourself, just so your team knows that you're allowed to look down on them as a superior. I recommend picking a skull finder puzzle like this one where there's really only two choices and it is super obvious to anyone with a brain which one of them is correct. If you practice hard and become a 12-year veteran of the game like me, you and your group will probably only set off around 70% of the puzzles per run that you go through, which is a pretty efficient pace. So we got a little unlucky with the lure last round, but that's no big deal, because as long as we use the classic drop and two sound strategy, all four cogs are going to die, and it's really not going to affect the run speed at all. <laughs> Well, um, I, I guess my team doesn't want to solve this one, so I, I guess it's up to me, and, and I know how to do this, so th th there's no worry about this at all. I, I know the answer. I told you, that was not guessing. I knew the answer. Alright, so that run was not the best. I made some mistakes, my team made some mistakes. All in all, it was just kind of a shit show. But the good news is we're done, we won, and now we have our promotion so we can go fight the Chief Justice. Do not worry though, I was able to get the rest of my jury notices by soloing a building with the skill and ease you would expect of a 19 year old playing a children's game designed in 2004. Did you know that your maturity and coolness is entirely defined by how much or how little you move in the transitionary screen between the first and second round of a VP? I've actually ran studies to prove this. All of the best and most hip and fashionable people will stay completely still because they've seen the wave of a thousand bosses. They know what's coming. All the energy in their eyes is dead. If you still have enough enthusiasm to run up and chase the VP's stores, that means you have not been corrupted yet. How do people still doubt the theory of evolution and Darwin's idea of natural selection after seeing this shit in your everyday life every single day? Toontown Online is a, a wonderful MMO for, for people of all ages, but especially like, you know, people who are younger can go on there, feel safe, uh, feel like they can have a fun time. The means of communication and the, and the cooperative and teamwork, all those aspects are there and they're very strong and they're very core to the gameplay. We tried really hard to make a game that people would like, that would be meaningful to people, that game that would feel like a safe place, a game that was about being social, a game that was about being cooperative. We tried very hard to take what we saw as the Disney spirit and try and imbue it in everything in Toontown. We really wanted to give everything that feeling 